All right, what's on the bench today? Uh, this is a Tooltop ET14S. This was sent into the channel for review. It is an IR camera multimeter. Yeah, it's a multimeter and it's got an IR camera in it. That's crazy. <laughs> Things are getting smaller and smaller. So yeah, uh, so let's just turn this thing on. It's, you hold it down until you start getting a uh, display. There we go. IR multimeter. And with all IR cameras, they take uh, a while to self-calibrate. And so that's what it's doing now. And then once it comes up, we have a, we have an IR camera. Um, yeah. So, um, you push this button and then you have a multimeter. So <laughs> it's pretty crazy. <laughs> uh, so we have volts, ohms, uh, continuity, diode check capacitor check, uh, temperature, um, frequency and percent duty cycle. Uh, it's got a uh, contact, non-contact uh, thing for, um, for AC cords. Let's bring in an AC cord. Yeah, there we go. Um, so, and amps, and amps over here. Um, it's got, uh, it's got a menu, you hold down the menu button, it's got a bunch of stuff in it you can set. Uh, all right, we don't need any of this. Let's see here, out, there we go. Uh, it's got a built-in flashlight, <laughs> I guess. That's, or or is back, back a little flashlight? Oh, there we go, oh yeah, it does have a flashlight. I didn't know it did. <laughs> all right, there's a flashlight. Okay, it's got everything built into this stupid thing. <laughs> It's not stupid, I like it. Uh, turn that off. Uh, range, hold, it does everything. <laughs> it does everything. Um, and they have really thought about the use case for this thing because my major complaint with IR cameras is the focus distance is set at like three feet or something. It's, it's for like, you know, home heating and air conditioning. It's for looking at heat a long ways away, but if you're on the bench wanting to measure things, you know, like, like, like a little circuit board, you want to be close. Well, this thing is already focused close. It, it already focuses at about an inch, I think, is its, is its, is its normal focus position. And, and they include a little slidey thing. You see that? Now you've got a close-up lens. You've got an IR close-up lens. Um, so that is just super, super cool. So we'll, we'll, we'll demo that, but that, that is an excellent feature. Uh, it's got a, a stand. I'm not crazy about the stand, a little bit, a little bit narrow, a little bit wobbly. Stand could use some improvement. Um, we can open the back. Uh, let's see here. I got something to twist this thing around. Uh, so it is, uh, it is a rechargeable battery. It's got one of those big uh, lithiums in it, so no, no problem about replacing it in the future. I know some people are always freaked out about whether it's serviceable in the future or not, so that's, that's good. Uh, it's got a uh, quarter 20 screw on the bottom, so you can hook it up, take pictures. Um, it's a 10,000 count meter. Um, yeah. So uh, let's do some meter things, get that out of the way, and then we'll take a look at the camera. All right, um, it does come with uh, regular leads. Uh, you know, they're okay, they're the cheapy leads, uh, but, but they're fine. Um, it uh, does have uh, the right spacing, so I can use uh, three quarters of an inch uh, spacing a dual banana jack on it. So I'm just going to change, change leads. Let me, uh, let's see here. Let's measure some, measure some volts. And uh, let's see, I have it set to, uh, accidentally have it set to amps. There we go, volts. All right. Uh, oh, let's see, common, common is this one. All right, put this back out. So there we go, one volt, two volts, three, six, nine, 19, <laughs> minus 19. Yeah, so it measures, it measures volts just fine. <laughs> no problem there. 
All right, let's measure some ohms. Uh, let's see how it does on my test board here. These are 0.01% resistor, so it should be should be pretty good here. Uh, let's see here. Let's measure the uh, ohmage of the. Uh, we've got zero ohms on the uh, on the test lead, so I don't need to zero those out. One uh, K. 10k so yeah it's within 0.5 percent which is what the meter is specced at 100k here's 10 meg ohms oops there we go 10 meg ohms so it's settling down yeah so certainly within uh, half a percent as the spec is uh, let's do the continuity see if it's latched Yeah, it is latched. You could get a beep beep. And it's pretty fast. It's not bad. I could go with that. Uh, let's see. Let's measure some diodes. Um, here is a Shockey 0 0.3, 0 0.6. Here's an LED, 1.6. And yeah, it has a, it has a good, um, upper voltage compliance for let for blue LED. So this one's 2.6 at one milliamp. So this is obviously testing at one milliamp. All right, so that's good to go. Uh, capacitors and stuff. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna test everything, but you get the idea. It's pretty nice display. Um, it's a 10 digit, I mean, um, uh, uh, 10,000 count, you know, so don't expect a whole, a whole much out of it, but I think it's pretty good. So. Nice little meter. I like it. I like it because it's very, very readable. It is a very nice display. All right. So everything out of the way for the multimeter, and let's do the camera stuff, which is what everybody's interested in. I'm sure. Now, um, the specification for the camera is 240 by 240 pixels, and that's a bit of a extension of the truth. <laughs> um, I, I, I confirmed with the manufacturer, it, it's a, a 96 by 96 pixel IR sensor. They do up interpolate to 240 when they show it on the screen. Um, so it is, it is interpolated up, but the raw sensor is 96 by 90, 96. Now, most of the time you say, oh, 96 by 96. I'm not sure if I can, if I can I deal with such a low, uh, such a low resolution, but but let me let me show you something. Okay, let me let me hook something up here that we can sort of look at. This would be like a typical use case. We have a uh, uh, we have a board here, and it's a nice Nixie clock board, and we're having problems with it, so we want to test things out. So we get our we get out our camera, and we start looking around, and we go, oh wait a minute, we got something pretty hot over there. Got something pretty hot. Let's zoom in here, and uh, uh, so you can see that we're in pretty close, and it's focusing quite well. And we're resolving. There's a uh, a uh, diode sticking off the board, and we're resolving that pretty well. But remember, we have a macro lens. So if we put that macro lens on, we can go we can go in super super fine. So that 96 by 96 pixels now is being used really effectively because we have that uh, that macro lens that we can zoom in really, really far. And we, we can see exactly what's going on here. We also have some, uh, some uh, TO92 uh, transistors back here that are getting a bit warm. These are, there's, it, it's automatically capturing the, the min and the max. That's displayed up here. So the maximum is in red, the minimum is in green. And then the temperature here is the center spot. So if you put the center spot exactly on what you want, it'll display here, but it's also capturing the maximum of uh, uh, 17 and 11 as the, as, the, as the minus. So that's also nice. Uh, we can take a look at our, at our vacuum tube over there. And uh, yeah, so I think it's quite usable. Even at, even at 96 by 96, you can see that we are uh, getting quite a good image here. Let me move the camera a bit. Yeah, it's a little bit better there on the camera. You can see that it's, a, it's, a, it's doing a pretty good job. Doing a pretty good job. Now this, uh, uh, 
one amp uh, die out here is getting pretty toasty. It's at 140 C. Uh, if I move my middle thing over here, you can see it. It's at 140. Um, so it is getting pretty toasty. It's the uh, switching regulator, I think, for the 180, 180 volts that this thing uh, that this thing has. But uh, I do love the macro lens. Great, great addition. Let's slide the macro lens out of the way. And you can see that now that we're in close, it's a bit blurry. And if I, if I move out, we're getting, a, we're getting a, a pretty good image again here. And I'm about, mm, okay, I'm gonna say about two inches. So it's focusing at about two inches. And then with the macro lens, it's focusing at about an inch, okay? So yeah, there you go. I do, I do like that feature. Um, you can save images, okay? So you can come in here and you can hold down this button and it's uh, saving the image. It will put it on the card. And then on the side here is a USB connector uh, for charging and for data transmission. You can go into the menu system and, and set it for a USB thumb drive. You don't need any software. You just connect it to your PC and it looks like a thumb drive. You can just download the pictures right off of it. Um, yeah. Uh, I like it. So that's my review of the uh, Tooltop ET14S. Uh, IR camera multimeter. Yeah, I, th <laughs> I think it's kind of a game changer. Uh, they do have a nicer version also. And I asked them if I could get one, but it's, it's, a, it, it's not really under promotion right now, so I couldn't get one. And it's the ET15S, and it has a better IR sensor in it. It has a, like a 240 by 190 uh, IR sensor in it, so a better IR sensor. And the, and the uh, uh, unit itself is bigger and, and, and better. So if you wanted more accuracy, but, you know, I, I, I don't know if you really need it. I think this one kind of does what you need it to do, um, unless you're really looking for really nice photographs to, to take and get, enter into a report or something for a client or something. But um, yeah, this is this is this is pretty nice. I really like it. I'm, I um, I keep I keep an IR camera ready to go over on my left hand side. I can grab it at any time, but it's a big and bulky thing. I think I'm going to use this instead now. So anyway, there you go. Uh, link down below.